Salzburg looking for some FA Cup glory. Yes, good evening. This is Ray. It's Ray's job to make sure everything runs smoothly off the pitch. But on the pitch, anything can happen and probably will. Join me later, live from the Lamb, as we continue our countdown to those FA Cup replays. Incredible story. I'll now, keep following that story, won't yeah. we? See how she gets on. Now, it's a big night in the FA Cup. Seven of our teams are facing third round replays. Which includes two of our non league clubs. Ian Winters live at the Lamb, where Tamworth are playing Stoke City. Ian. Yes, good evening to you, Nick. You know, on paper, this is a mismatch. The Tamworth players are part timers, and they're one place off the bottom of the conference. This is where they play their home games. Just have a little look around. That's the main stand. 500 people will be inside that. Their opponents tonight, Soak City, are lying mid table in the championship. And they haven't won a game since the middle of December, would you believe? Which is why many of the home fans here tonight, in a crowd of 4,000 people, firmly believe that Tamworth have got a fighting chance this evening. Remember the days when the FA Cup was only seen once a year on Cup Final Day? Not anymore. In recent weeks, it's taken quite a fancy to Tamworth, and wherever the Cup goes, the media circus goes too. But will this be its last visit of the season to the Midlands? Having beaten St Albans in the fourth qualifying round, Tamworth's Cup tour really took off in November. They travelled south to Bournemouth and beat them 2-1. In December, they travelled north to Hartlepool and surprised them with another 2-1 win. And then 10 days ago, they made the short trip to Stoke and returned with a goalless draw. If tonight's replay goes to penalties, then Tamworth won't be caught cold. We'd be absolutely jumping for joy if we took the game that far. Um, you know, we would have given a really good account of ourselves if we'd done that. And, uh, but I think it'd be, it'd be silly not to practice. If all's, you know, equal and they turn up and fancy it and play to their potential, they win the game. But uh, if they're not quite right for some reason and, and we're right at it, anything can happen. No wonder Tammy the Lamb is head over heels. Just imagine how frisky he'll get if Stoke get the chop against Tamworth tonight. So let's talk to one of the characters who sadly won't be playing tonight but has been very much a part of the, the club's story this season. Though he hasn't played in any of the FA Cup ties since that qualifying round all those months ago. We're talking, of course, about Bob Taylor passionately known as Super Bob by the West Bromwich Albion uh, supporters. Bob, you must be so frustrated not to be playing in tonight's match. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, FA Cup is probably the biggest cup in the, in the country for, for players and non-league players. But, uh, you know, take nothing away from the lads who are going to be playing tonight. You know, it's their special night, it's their special day. And uh, hopefully they can repeat, uh, repeat performance of what we did uh, back up at Stoke. Just let us into a little secret. What will Mark Cooper, the Tamworth manager, be saying to his players in the dressing room just before kickoff? Um, I don't think you really need to say anything, to be fair. I'll just say, you know, do what you did up at Stoke. Um, take the game to them, frustrate them, and, uh, you know, let's try and catch them on the break. Hand and heart, can you see a possible shock result? Well, out of all the ties tonight, I think, you know, our tie is the, the shock of the, of the round at the moment. Um, it is a winnable game for us, definitely winnable. And, uh, you know, as I said, they're going to find it difficult to come here, and I think that might give us a little bit more respect this time round. Excellent. Bob, thanks very much indeed. You know, Bob's hoping to be fit for the fourth round if, of course, Tamworth beat Stoke this evening. It's a big night, of course, for Nuneaton as well. The bookies say that they are 9-2, to two, no hopers for their match against Premiership Middlesbrough tonight. But, of course, the Nuneaton fans disagree, and it feels like the whole town has travelled north to support their side at the Riverside this evening. Daniel Pallet reports. You know, not everyone is hoping for a spot of giant killing in the Cup tonight. Just ask them down at Birmingham City, because, of course, the last thing they need at St Andrews right now is to get knocked out of the Cup by Torquay. The Blues would love to play West Brom in round four, but Albion face a tricky replay at Reading. Also tonight, can Cheltenham beat Chester to earn a home tie with Newcastle United? And will Walsall beat Barnsley to face Tamworth or Stoke in round four? There are so many ifs, buts and maybes, and all will be resolved, of course, by 10.30 tonight. We'll have all the action and the reaction from tonight's games, and I'll be reporting from Old Trafford, where Burton Albion, of course, tackled the man mighty Manchester United. But that's the scene here at the Lamb in Tamworth. Tamworth against Stoke City, FA Cup third-round replay. Back to you in the studio.
thanks very much. Ian. Thanks, Ian. Tammy the Lamp looked very excited. Yeah, it has to be one of the most exciting, exciting FA Cups of all time, I tell you. There'll be full commentary on both those games, incidentally, on BBC Local Radio. Now.